Previously, I did a video where I tried beating Fallen Mode, but the towers I had to use were completely random. Unfortunately, I was not able to beat it, so I got a lot of comments requesting a part 2. So, I decided to try again, but this time, I'm going to be attempting to beat Badlands 2. Badlands 2 is a significantly harder game mode than Fallen Mode, so I'll be allowing myself one free respin in case I get something really bad like last time. Before I continue, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Hair Mafia. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Also, if you want to talk to me, suggest videos, or maybe even be in one, consider joining the Blue Head Mafia Discord. It's a great time, and I hope to see you there. With that said, let's see what my first tower is. Alright, I'll take that. Let me see what my second tower is. Ah, okay. Well, Golden Quick Pass is pretty good anyway, so I'll take that. Okay, that's good support. Sweet. Now I actually have a way to make, you know, money! Okay, one tower left. Give me something good. No way. Come on. Give me the DJ. Well, despite not getting the DJ, I think we have a pretty solid loadout. We got the Ranger, Golden Crack Boss, Medic, Golden Cowboy, and Warden. It might not be the best team, but we're just gonna have to see how well it does. And with that said, let's get right into it. My goal was to get the Golden Cowboy as soon as possible, but I decided to tank and skip the first two waves. This allowed me to get a Golden Cowboy by wave 2 and start making some money. On wave 3, I upgraded it to level 2, which is the best level in terms of income. By wave 5, I was able to get a second level 2 cowboy. But after that, on wave 6, I had to get a golden crook to make sure I could defend against the waves. By wave 8, I was able to get it to level 3. This was a good enough defense for now, so I continued placing cowboys. But, I had to make sure I prepared for wave 13, as that was the first wave which hiddens came out. Before wave 13, I managed to get a level 3 crook and a level 2 crook, which was enough to barely handle the wave. Although, I did leak a couple of lives. For wave 15, I upgraded my level 2 crook into level 3, and I got another level 2 crook. But to my disappointment, this was not enough to keep me alive, and I ended up losing. Now, I probably could end up going further solo, however, I realized I'm not going to be able to get very far by my own. So, I decided to get some help. For my second attempt, I brought along three members of my Discord, that being Nivdiat, Intergalactic, and Technological Terror. We all started off pretty much the same, skipping the first two waves to be able to place a cowboy as soon as possible. We upgraded our cowboys to level 2 by the end of wave 5, and by the end of wave 9 we had gotten two level 2 cowboys each, or 8 cowboys total. To deal with the wave 13 hiddens, we got a level 3 golden crook, a level 2 golden crook, and intergalactic spammed a bunch of level 1 wardens to help stun the hiddens. This worked well, and we were able to kill them all without any leaks. Wave 15, we upgraded and placed a couple of more crooks, which was actually enough to beat this wave, allowing us to get past my previous solo record. After this wave, we continued to place level 2 cowboys as we needed to maximize the amount of profit we could make. However, we had to make sure we prepared for wave 20, which was the first wave with Fallens. Fallens are extremely fast and high health enemies, which can often be a huge problem to deal with. Luckily, the extra defense we got from our cowboys allowed us to just barely beat this wave, as well as a subsequent wave 21, which we were able to beat by getting some extra crook bosses and upgrading some wardens to level 3. On wave 24 came the first shadow boss, but our wardens were able to easily stun that and allow our other towers to take care of it. On wave 26, the glitches came out, an extremely fast enemy that's basically like a fallen, but on steroids. To deal with them, we got as many level 3 wardens as we could, as well as working on maxing out our crooks. While it was close, we did manage to beat them, as well as on wave 27 where there's even more glitches. Now, on wave 30 came one of the hardest enemies in the game, the tank. The tank is an extremely fast, high health enemy, wording over 6000 HP. While normally this would be a big issue to deal with, the Warden is able to fully stun it, making it not that big of a deal. So despite this wave having three different tanks, we were able to beat it with a combination of Wardens and Crook Bosses. But little did I realize that wave 30 would not be the hardest wave, and that would actually end up being the tier 4 breakers on wave 32 and 33. Tier 4 breakers function very differently from other enemies. When killed, it splits into three tier 3 breakers, meaning a few tier 4 breakers can turn into a lot of enemies very quickly. I just barely beat wave 32, however, I was overwhelmed on wave 33. No matter how many tries we did, we could not get past this wave. The main reason for that is that every single one of my towers deals single target DPS. It means that they can't damage multiple enemies at once, it means they heavily struggle against crowds of enemies. But, remember, I still have one free respin. If I can get lucky enough to get a crowd control tower, I might just have a chance to beat this.
Oh my god. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Head Mafia. My name is Corso and I'll see y'all in the next video.